Hey everyone, it's Allison. Welcome back to The Tiny Herd, where we talk about everyday pet care for guinea pigs, rabbits, and other small pets. Today is actually going to be a real-life look at everyday pet care. This is the start of a, well, what I'm expecting to be a very long vlog. Um, I wanted to do a multiple-day pet care vlog to show you guys the actual realities of having a lot of pets. I currently have 12 animals and then a fish, so 12 small animals and a fish, or, well, one of those is a dog. But anyways, we have 12 animals, 13 animals counting the fish, so I'm going to show you guys what it's like to take care of that many animals. So to start off this vlog, you guys are looking at a huge mess. So this is my front room and dining room. This is the bunny's playroom, and I just got done doing a haul that you guys would have already seen. So all this stuff was included in the haul. So it's all over the floor. There's still hay on the floor from filming the hay comparison video that I haven't vacuumed up. And then we just got done building the new Critter Nation for the rats. The lighting's really bad because it's like 10 o'clock at night, but we just got done doing this and I was like setting it up and stuff. So look at this mess, you guys. Seriously, like I had to move the bunny's litter box. That's their pile of paper they play in and their tunnel. There's plastic everywhere from trimming the bin down that we have in the bottom of the Critter Nation, which you guys will see in a later video. But this is just a disaster and I can't leave it like this because of that little guy right there. So obviously, this is the bunny's playroom. You can see we're talking about him. This is the bunny's playroom. Snickers mouse is also in here. But I can't leave this like this, obviously, because the bunnies would get into everything. So the start of this vlog is gonna be me cleaning up this ginormous mess that I made. Okay, we're a little bit better at the moment. Got all the stuff out of the middle of the floor. I'm gonna get the vacuum after I finish picking up these couple of things. But there's so much hay on the floor, it's ridiculous. There's some stuff on there I need to do something with. Um, that I think I'm just gonna put in the closet for now, but eventually it's gonna go underneath that cage. Um, all of that is not staying there, but I just put it there because tomorrow I need to mix up the rat's food. Tomorrow is Thursday, and we are going to pick up the rats on Friday, so I'm trying to get everything ready for them before that. Um, I'll show you guys that tomorrow, though. This is a disaster, and I think I'm gonna throw away all this paper. It's been out here for a long time, and we have plenty more, so I'm gonna get rid of the gross paper and the ripped up paper. 
and figure out where to put it that it's not like this drives me nuts they love to play in it so I want them to have paper but there it's just always everywhere so I might move it back into that corner over there they'll keep their tunnel of course and then this litter box used to be where this cage is and it's going to go here now so I'm going to go ahead and do all of that stuff I just said so much better shape I am like out of breath but all that's left to do is vacuum we have a little Snickers mouse here by the way this is where she stays her little bin is in our front room by the lamp she actually just went back into bed she was out here eating a bit that is my nieces that doesn't go here but I have everything cleaned up I just need to get the vacuum Vacuum this room, and then I can get the bunnies toys back out. This fits here like perfect. That worked out super well. This is all cleaned up, obviously needs vacuumed, and I'm gonna change that litter box. They don't use it a ton, but it still needs changed. And then tomorrow I'm gonna pick up all those tools and get those boxes out of here. But I'm about done for today. I'm gonna go put this in the closet, take that in the other room, get the vacuum and do that. And then that'll probably be all that I do for tonight. I still have to spot clean cages and get ready for everyone to go to bed. So I'm gonna vacuum really quick and move on. missed part of that because my camera died and I didn't realize it but that was some real life pet care there I fought with my stupid vacuum for like 20 minutes because I went and got the normal vacuum because I was like there's not that much hay it'll be fine I'm not gonna get the shop vac out of course it clogged it ended up taking way longer than just getting the shop back <laughs> so I ended up getting the shop back that's a pet care tip though if you have animals particularly animals that eat hay Highly, highly recommend getting yourself a shop vac. It's a lifesaver. I would have gone through so many vacuums by now if I hadn't gotten that. So there's a tip for you. I'm pretty much done for tonight. It's Wednesday night. Tomorrow I have to do some more stuff, clean up, get ready to pick up the rats on Friday. But this is, I got all this done tonight. This room is clean. I put the bunny's toys back out. So I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm gonna go spot clean cages and go to bed. I'm not gonna show you guys that cause you'll see it later in this. So I will see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, hello, it is Thursday. Welcome back to another day in my life taking care of pets. So tomorrow is the day that we are going to pick up the rats. So I have stuff that I need to get done, finished, prepared and all of that to get ready for them. So I'm gonna do that tonight. And then I have some stuff that still needs cleaned up, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to show you guys everything that I'm doing as I go. All right, so the first thing I need to do tonight is actually make the rat food. So all of these things up on the top of this are for the rat food. So I'm going to get all of that down, 
and get set up so that I can do that. I'm not gonna talk through how I'm gonna make their food. I'll link a video down below that talks about the diet method that I'm using for the rats to make this mix. But since I'm obviously super new to owning rats, I'm not gonna talk about their diet or anything because there's more research I could do. This is just kind of to get them started. So I'm gonna do that now and then finish setting up their cage, I think, because I don't have any bedding or anything in it and I still need to make fleece liners for them. guys so the rat food is done again I will link the video down below talking about this method for doing a DIY mix for rats but it's kind of just like based by percentages and volume so I have that ready to go now I need to clean up this mess I just made figure out where to put all this food because some of it's not going to go in our pantry like I'm not putting mealworms in our pantry but I got to figure out some storage for the rat cage and stuff um, and then I have to clean all that stuff up that's in that hallway down there. Okay, this room is pretty well done again. Luckily, wasn't too bad tonight. I don't usually have to clean this room this often, but getting ready for the rats caused a lot of extra mess. Hello, Michael Bun. Hello. Do you want me to clean up all this mess for you? Hello. What's it doing? Hello. Is all this stuff in your way? So yeah. Okay. So I was planning on cleaning all this up tonight, but it's gonna have to wait till tomorrow because I don't actually know what I'm gonna do with a lot of this. These two are clean laundry that I just need put away. So I'll do that tomorrow before I clean cages, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of this stuff. So I'm not dealing with it tonight because it's already 10 o'clock. So I'm going to spot clean cages and then take a shower and go to bed. So I think I'm gonna end today's portion of the vlog here. Tomorrow you'll get to see more of like cleaning cages and that sort of thing. So that'll be more normal day-to-day -day pet care. But I'm gonna go ahead and end for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow on Friday. Hey guys, so it is Saturday. I skipped filming for this video yesterday on Friday because we got the rats and there was a lot of other things going on. And I didn't really end up doing that many pet chores just because I was watching the rats and all of that and editing videos. So today, Saturday, I'm doing all of the pet stuff and all of the Etsy stuff. So I'm going to take you guys along with me on all of the pet chores that I am doing today. I'm going to go get more organizing bins. I'm going to clean the entire pet room, clean up all of the stuff I left in the hallway, just like get everything totally clean, clean
clean cages, all of that, and I'm going to take you guys along with me. And then one other thing I want to do today is clean up this closet. Obviously, there's a lot of non-pet related stuff in here, but I've kind of just been throwing stuff in here as I've been doing pet projects so that the bunnies can't get to it. So I'm going to clean and reorganize this as well. You can see there's like mouse stuff in here, um, my ring light, uh, all of the stuff from making carriers. Like all of this just needs reorganized and put away. Okay, this looks so much better. It's not necessarily super organized, but it's a lot better than it was. And I got all this stuff off the floor, so just needs vacuumed. And honestly, probably need to get some rid of some of those Heidi houses, but they're all in here, so we're done organizing this closet. Show you guys a quick little video here of Snickers Mouse since she came out. Please ignore the sounds in the background. My boyfriend is doing dishes right now. But she came out. You guys get to see her. Hello, little old gray girl. She is over two and a half now. So she is very gray. And she has a little bit of trouble getting around. And she's very fat, as you can see. Because all she does is come out and eat and then go back and lay in her bed. But she does run on her wheel a little bit. It is Sunday morning, so today is the day that I'm really going to be doing majority of my pet chores. So I think the last couple clips or the last couple days clips have just been like random things that I've been doing with the pets, just like random jobs, pet related jobs that are not things you would necessarily think about. And that's kind of some stuff that I wanted to show you guys because you don't think about like the other organizing you have to do or prepping for a new pet or making their food or things like that. So today we're going to be doing the regular pet chores. So I'm going to show you guys some of that. I don't want to make this video like forever long, so I'm not going to show you like full cage cleaning or anything, but I will show you some clips of that. And then um, I'll keep doing some random pet related things. I want this vlog to be like realities of pet care. That's kind of like what the point of it is. So I'm showing you guys the real stuff that I do and how kind of like sporadic and um, how there are pet jobs that need done every single day. So I'm going to go ahead and just get to it today.
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed getting to see a couple days worth of pet care and kind of random pet cleaning, pet related things that I had to do this week. I'm gonna be doing more of these vlogs in the future as well, just because I want to show the reality of taking care of this many animals, because there's a lot of people that have a lot of pets but don't really communicate how much work it really is. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this down below, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this week's vlog here and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.